Summit Racing Good Guys Nationals 2024. Uh, we're in one of the main buildings and amidst all the classic Detroit muscle, all the street rods, all the hot rods, we come to this stunning Porsche 356. Tell us about the car. Thank you for bringing it out. Okay. Awesome. So this started out as a 1960 Porsche 356B, but the design goal was to make it more sexy instead of an outlaw. Uh, if you think about like the early Jags in 61 and 62, sexy rolled look, but with a lot of power. We really sloped the rake of the, of the front fenders. We, we rolled the rockers, which you normally don't see. Fun thing, a lot of tributes to the old Porsches. Those are called semi-fours, and they were in the 1952 Porsche 356. They were in some old Volkswagens and then they stopped them. For safety's sake, we also put an amber LED light in the headlight, so hopefully when oncoming traffic comes, they can uh, see what's coming, because no one knows what a semi for is. Our license plate that makes it street legal is a magnet, and then I just pull it off for shows. But we are very big into symmetry, so these are brake lights up here, but there's two brake lights, two kidneys, two crosses, two mufflers and two lights. So they're trying to make everything very nice and tight in the design. And then this is a true 356 engine. But what we did is the fan housing, which is typically vertical, we made it horizontal in tribute to the 917 Porsche race cars, up the power from 70 horsepower to 165, which doesn't sound like a lot, but in this car it flies. And then we put Weber 48s, flat plank crank start. Many people have asked about the fan housing, where's the motor? It's an electric motor, so we don't have this cumbersome belt drive, which is typical. Inside, we want more of a, a clean, more sophisticated look compared to a typical 356. An interesting note is the steering wheel cap is uh, Zodiac, and that was actually done one year in 1952, but no one bought it when they were buying Porsches, we found it in an historical book and we had it replicated. It's exactly to what it was. With the wheels, the original wheels of a Porsche, these fins actually were open and they would dissipate the heat for the car. Now, typically in the last years, you could buy somewhat of a replica of that, but they were plugged. Instead, we had a company up in Canada make them and these actually have the slats and they actually dissipate the heat. So we made it very historically correct, just like with the semi fours, but we did it in a very updated way. So how long did it take you to put this together? It took me a year to design and it took three and a half years to build. You've taken it to shows, obviously. What are your plans for it? We take it, to, we've taken it to Amelia Island and we've been lucky we won down there and Cincinnati, we won down there. So um, I, honestly, this is my first hot rod custom show and I actually want to do more of these shows is really what I want. If This car is more at home here than some of the quote traditional car shows. And so I, we were thinking of going out to Pebble Beach, which is more traditional, but we, we came out here instead. And it's, it's just, it's a cool atmosphere. Uh, everyone's into customizing cars and they appreciate it, whether they know what this is or not. So again, thank you, Tim, for taking the time to show it with us. Um, thank you very much, it's my pleasure. Uh, it's fantastic, it's another example of the kind of diversity and awesome rides you'll see at a typical uh, good guy show. So farewell from the 2024 Summit Racing Good Guys Nationals, Columbus, Ohio. We'll see you again soon.